All right, Jay, thanks very much. Just hours ago, thousands of Army National Guard soldiers found out their training set for this weekend canceled. This comes about a week after our Working For You investigation looked into the safety plan that was aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19. Susan O'Corey following this story. And what's changed, Susan? Well, Bob, it all came down to testing. Initially, there was no plan to test soldiers as they came and left training. They were only going to test people who showed symptoms. And that was a big concern for a lot of soldiers that I talked to. It's all because the training would have brought 4,300 troops from both here and out of state together. They'd be living at Fort Chaffee and working closely. Last week, I questioned the National Guard and Governor Asa Hutchinson about the plan since many soldiers I talked to were afraid asymptomatic cases could lead to an outbreak. After after our investigation, the National Guard told me there was a plan to test soldiers before they left training. But at the governor's press conference today, it was announced that a federal law blocked those tests from getting paid for, and that's why they canceled training. We gained new knowledge as we were uh, trying to buy the kits. That's where we ran up against the, uh, uh, the constraint, figured out it was going to be a major problem for us, and uh, began planning the what next. Instead, troops will either do virtual drills or drills at their home armories. I did talk to several soldiers today who say they're happy that training was canceled and they believe this will reduce the risk of them catching the virus and possibly spreading it to their families. Back to you. Susan, thanks very much.